you know, it finds Aaron Wainwright. He's bigger. Oh, space here for Harpenny. Even more so for Adams. And Adams doesn't miss chances like that. But Josh Adams, who had a stunning Six Nations last season, he scored against Italy, against England and Scotland. Despite the best efforts of Leonardo Sato and then Tommaso Allen. Just checking the ground. Josh Adams has not been denied. Wainwright. Just trying to catch the Italy defence by surprise. Metre by metre. Here's Williams, out to Bigger. Sensational! A try from another galaxy. A second for Josh Adams. Wayne Pivak, I suspect he enjoyed that. There was Rob Evans back to Corey Hill. He's got bigger alongside him. Chose not to look for the support. Another opportunity here goes Tompkins. And Tompkins, on his test debut, gets his first international try. It has been a dream January for the Saracen. Two metres between Wells and a fifth point. Can they secure the full house on the opening afternoon of the Guinness Six Nations? It's a penalty advantage here to Wales. Reese Webb, North took a couple of grabs at it. He's so powerful though, he's got it down on the line. Wales have their score. They got numbers out wide here though, Tompkins cuts inside. Wells providing the final flourish. That was Leon Brown getting within two metres. And then finally they crash over. And appropriately, it is that man, Josh Adams, who finishes off with a hat trick. How do you stop him? Williams once more and Digger. On Wales go. Lovely pass. There for Bigger. Williams. Oh, that's wonderful. Williams. Wales bounce back. And all that coming from a sumptuous offload from Alan Wynne Jones to Dan Bigger. But it's been a good performance all round from the Irish. Final passage of play in the game as Wales go to look a uh, better score and the scoreboard will look better because Justin no. Tepurik is over it's like you, uh, when you score the try. and try. there is no doubt this time Wales the have their second try but in truth it's too little too late no hands lost. this attack came from an Alan Wynn Jones turnover close to his own line what a man he is what a drive that is by Wales. Gareth Davis Ken Owens tries to vault over defenders. Just halted short. Here's Dylan Lewis. He's got the score, the tight head. And Venom from the valleys at last. And what timing of the try from Wales. They were under so much pressure, close to their own line. What a response. Thomas Williams, Tipperick on the angle. At pace again, good tackling from those French defenders. Dan Bigger gets the ball down for Wales. Has he got the try? I do. Yes. Game. It, it has to be for Wales. Look at that clock. It simply has to be. But Matt Carley is not 100% sure. Okay, yeah, he clearly regathers the possession and grounds the ball. So it's a try, you may award the try. He never loses possession clearly, so we can stick with our on-field decision. There's Tompkins, good little step. Space here for Josh Navidi. 
Tompkins wants it back. He's got it back. Look at this. Thomas Williams tippering to his left. What a start to the half from Wales. That is outstanding. Justin Tipperick. That is just the boost that Wayne Pivak will have been looking for. It is one of the tries of the year. Get out of your seat. Get on your feet. Look at that little step from Tompkins. Stays alive on the inside. Josh Navidi back inside. Look at that support line. And then Justin Tipperick. Well, there's a man that you want on the end of that try. Plenty of pace. What a start for Wales. You always talk about coming out and starting big. You cannot get bigger than that. And that all comes from Tompkins, who absolutely gets hammered after. The huge support play there from Thomas Williams. Then Young's showing that there are still a fair few internationals in him. Reese Webb out there to Hadley Parks. There goes Bigger. And Bigger has he got there. It was the long reach of the left arm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, something's got to be oh, up if you can't oh, score oh, against oh, 13 oh, men. Back, back. Yeah, it's on the line. It's on, leave it! Please, uh. Over! Reese Carey runs straight into Willie Hines. Release, Hines did rather Hines. well there. It was a bit of a physical mismatch. This England defence. Having to work extra, extra hard. They've only got 13 men out there. Reese Webb. And Tipperick gets his second. Wales have not given up all the way through this game. They've challenged to the end. Yes, it's down to 13 men now, England, but... Goes to Wainwright, fires it down to Webb. There's Bigger. Jonathan Davis getting his hands on the ball. So keen to make up for lost time. Tipperick feeds it on. This is outstanding from Wales. <laughs> Lee Harpenny. Just a minute into the match. You know you do it. Look at this. Lovely missed pass from Tipperick there. Lee Harpenny has a walk in on the side there. Look at this. Looks like Falatau's having to. He just sneaks it in front of him to Bigger. I think Dan Bigger does the right thing. He has a look. Goes on the outside. It's that man, Lee Harpenny. Little more than 12 minutes to go. Here goes Tompkins. Little grubber through for North to get after. A come cross comes in to Mac who couldn't grab it. North could. Here's Tompkins again. Gareth Davis has it in his hands, looks up. The moment of hesitation there. Depends on Rate as it was who anticipated it. Fatatau will now have a go. All hands to the pump here now for France in defence. They're up to within a metre or so of the line, just a few blades of grass. George North trying to get the body position right. Falatau will have a go. He's repelled. Aldrit playing such a role there. Well, Wells are claiming it, and this time they have got it down. And it looks like Nicky Smith who's done it. It's, it's the perfect response, isn't it? And it's a nice, clever kick from Tompkins. George North does well to reclaim it, get it back to Tompkins, but it's the patience, isn't it? Big Scottish defence, this. Go, go. The best defence of the championship, so being stretched to its limits. Will it be broken? Andrew Bray says, yes, it has. The Wales capitalise on a leaky line-out. And Rhys Carey, the Cardiff Colossus, scores his first try in the Red of Wales. From the Blues to Saracens and back again. And now scoring on the West Wellian coast. Wales with the first try of the afternoon. So Kieran Hardy, one of the Scarlets, on his home ground here. Advantage! Another penalty advantage being played here. There may well be a card to follow, but will it be preceded by a try? There's Tompkins. Tompkins out to Hardy. Hardy out to Sheedy. Sheedy out to Reece Samet. And this time there's no problem with the pause. And the young man from Gloucester has got his try. Wales lead by eight points to nil. Parry. Last five minutes of the match. there from Brown, here's Johnny Williams, Williams gets going, he's quite a story, now playing for Wales, oh good hands from Sheedy, re-sam it, well when they get it right they can make it look so easy.
Rhys Webb with the final scoring touch. There's Youngs. And the kick there on the left foot of Henry Slay was anticipated, and Dan Bigger kicks it in field. And there's a chance here for Wales. Can they get it? Johnny Williams, he's done it! <laughs> well, in its own way, that was slightly reminiscent of that famous try. If we go back to the World Cup, when it was Lloyd Williams who kicked in field, and Johnny Williams, who was rewarded with a start here, well, it's only 18 months or so ago, he was scoring a try in the wide of England against the Barbars. He now gets his first as a Wales international. Sheedy. Neat little break there from Nicky Smith. He's useful with the ball in hand. Sheedy. Valatau and through burst Tipperick. And Tipperick has alongside in the score. What a dummy that was. What a stunning score. Kieradati eventually got it down. The running line was wonderful. The dummy sublime. And the finish, well, it was the way he tracked his man. Held up two metres out. Here's Hardy. On there to George North. Here's a fearsome fella to hold up, but they managed it. But for how much longer, Hardy? The little the dummy. The hands up, Luca. Hands up. Just a few blades of the green, green grass between Wales and the second try. And I think they might have got there. Wayne Barnes wants to have a look here. That looks good for me. Uh, Wayne, that's all Wayne girl. Um, yeah, still, still with your decision, on-field decision. So it is a second try for Wales. Tipperick up there to Wainwright. Wainwright will feel he has something to prove. Johan Lloyd into Maxi Mumbanda. Look at Mori there, he's over the ball. Tipperick onto Fabatel. That one two working so well. And now there's a chance, and this man, Gareth Davis, can move like a wing. And how often has he scored vital tries for Wales? And that one could be utterly priceless. That could be the game changer at this point in time to be able to score a try like that, to completely blow open the Italian defence. This could be the one. Here's Steve Varney. Man born in Camargo. Zalocki just for a moment getting himself isolated and he was turned over. There's a real chance here for Wales. It's three against one out wide. Surely they must finish this off. Jonah Holmes cuts in field. The Italian defence has scrambled remarkably well, but can they hold it up? Have they got it down? The men in red seem to think so. I don't I don't see how clearly the ball is held up. Okay, so we stick with the on-field decision. Yeah. Thank you. So George North gets another against the Italians. That's a crucial try. George North. Tack all the way, five. Not that one, thank you. I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with Wales when you go through to the opening match of their Six Nations campaign, just 65 days away against Ireland down the road in Cardiff. Certainly a lot of eyes will be on thank you. his first pick, 12 and 13. Cheedy timing it wonderfully to Falatau. And Falatau's got North alongside him. He's also got his mate, Tipperick. And Tipperick gets the score. How well those two have worked together today. Once again, like you say, Tiferick and Falatal, they are linking up so nicely. Navidi flicks it away to George Ford. Here's the chance. Here's the try for Wills. At last, they have bust through this Ireland offence. Took them by surprise, I think, that offload. And that's a great show and go and pace to finish off. Ireland overplaying a little bit there with the ball. George North's 21st Six Nations try now, just one behind the great Shane Williams. Big throw for Ken Owens. Beard, Gareth Davis. Here's Dan Bigger. 
Really strong from Bigger. Good tackle by Billy Burns. Ken Owens latch on from Josh Navidi. Suddenly a lot of muscularity from this Penalty is well a high side. tackle by nine on ten. High tackle, penalty advantage again a penalty for Wales. Advantage. Here's George North, Lee Halfpenny, Lewis Rees Samet. Great finish by Lewis Rees Samet. Wales find the win. They find the gap in that Irish defence. Get it through the hands, nice and quick. That's the ball from Halfpenny. On okay. And he knows what to do, he knows how to finish. He knows he's got to get his legs in the air. Ball in the right hand. Dots it down. Hala Holo takes a little advantage. look inside the shoulder there of Finn Russell. Bigger. Nick Tompkins does well to get it away. Liam Williams and Reese Samet a step inside. An absolutely vital score for the men in ring. Yeah. Watch the work here from Tompkins though. Drifts off, takes a tackle of Harris, spins out, gets the ball away from Duhan van der Merwe. And from there, it was hands to Reese Zamet, who stepped off his right and Thank finished you, off. And Wales have made Thank the you. most of an opportunity to finish this half strong. And that's a crucial score in the context of this match. Tipperick. Line-out's over. It's now with Kit Owens. Look there at Rory Sutherland just... Swimming a little bit up the side, but this is well orchestrated by Wales. Ken Owens has still got it. Yeah. Hardy feeds the ball out. Terrific hands, Lewis Free Samet. There's time and space, and Liam Williams and Wales have got another. They're right back into the match. Early touch, Hallahol, a lovely sleight of hand by Sheedy to get through the hands to Reese Samet. Gets the ball away to Liam Williams. He doesn't need a second invitation to finish that one off with Open Prairie in front of him. Wales strike the all-important first score of this second half. They're right back in the mix now. Use it! They won with the benefit of a one-man advantage against Ireland last weekend. In all honesty, in the end, they make quite a meal of it. But they are presented with the same open window this time. Wynne Jones being held up. They think they've got it down. Matt Carley's trying to get himself in position. Time off. Time off. What a reaction from Wales immediately off the back of the red card. They generate them all and they go forward. And Wynne Jones in the close exchanges does brilliantly to, to get line. over. Yeah, I've got one movement onto the line. Try. So stick with your on-field decision. Well, what a difference a few weeks makes. The Autumn Nations Cup. The headlines from there were about maybe the concerns we had about the quality of Test Rugby. What a start it's been to this season Six Nations Championship. Lewis Reece Samet, he's got first run on Hogg. Oh, that's brilliant. That is spectacular from Lewis Reece Samet. And my goodness, look at this for a razor-sharp finish. The opportunity comes in the outside channel. He gets a yard away from Duhan van der Merwe, who's had to bite in, chips Stuart Hogg, and from there he has all, all the momentum. Perfectly weighted chip, bounces up, and it looks like such a simple finish off the back of it. But just look at this, he's at full speed, puts it onto his right foot, and it's perfectly weighted. I mean, as a, as a team there, as well as there, you want to play that penalty well, advantage. Well, it's quickly taken, and Adams is underneath, and that's wonderfully worked. Tango back on. Well, and caught England napping. The execution was perfect. Please, please. So all please, by please, surprise. Please, yeah. Listen to... I stopped the time, you give... You give it. Every single water carrier was on the field. Please, Everybody, please, you give, please. Us, you give us a second. You've got to give us time to Please, set. please. I talk first, OK? I heard, I heard what you say. I tam I'm back time on. I let the time to give your message for the teams. Yes. I time on, and after it's play on. No, please, no. I'm in touch offside. Eh? Referee still playing that advantage. It's bigger. George North. Adams again, slices it through there for Lewis Reece Samet, almost gathered it, 
It's still there for Liam Williams, and Williams has gone over. Well, let's see what the decision here is of Pascal Gauzier. So, right for Matthew here. Pascal, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't see the, the, the player lost the ball for what, by 14? Yeah. So, okay. the, the ball touched the legs. Yeah. And, yeah. and here, it touched the legs and the ball back. Uh, yeah. go backwards so i don't saw the the ball go forward yeah, yeah. so know. you can still uh, on our own field Fingers. decision try anyone disagree bryce and uh frank the try has been awarded adam beard that time being met by the ferocious defense of tom curry and there's a handout and that from was coming in from the side and off goes hardy and hardy's through not for the first time today, England have been caught napping. Incredible reactions from that man there, Gareth Hardy. Everybody stopped thinking that Wales would just go for the post. And this is the second time he's come back to bite England. Great thinking. Great presence of mind to see the line taps and go straight away. Here's Gareth Davis. Halla holla. Wales. Ending the game with a score. They have the fourth try. They have the triple crown. They have the fifth point. Wayne Pivak. And it's that man, Corey Hill, as he did here two years ago. On the line. On the line. One on one with Henry Slade. When you're 18 and a half stone, you're low, you're driving your legs. There can only be one winner. Both together. There for Davis, and then to Jonathan Davis, who skipped, and out it comes. And there's an opportunity out wide, and Wales have their first try of the afternoon. Josh Adams over in the corner. Oh, so simple, but so well executed. That's exposing exactly the space that was left when Monte Ioanni left the field. Brilliant from Wales. Oh, about a metre inside. Great then. ball from Dan Bigger. It just means that that Italian defence has to really over chase to force home that advantage win jones stopped in his tracks gareth davis it's slower ball navidi is skipped and it goes from liam williams to jonathan davis and they have numbers can they finish it Falatau. it's another try for wales and they make the numerical advantage count and don't they do it oh so well brilliant from wales Absolutely brilliant. How many times do we see teams not use that advantage to their advantage? What, what really try to stretch the play. Manager. And then it's simple, isn't it, really? And in the end. Six metres short of the Italian line. Ken Owens and the Welsh line out go to just a Tipperick. And then to that more, and they this time vary it by going on the more open side. And Owens has it in his hands and they're away. And Owens drives for the line. And Ken Owens has Wales' third try. The first quarter of the game is barely complete, and it's try number three for Wales. Yeah, just completely mixing it up, the Welsh. Set up, so. Can score tries on the width, but now really testing Italy up front. 100% from the line out from Owens and Wales so far, and it continues as Hill rises yes. high, claims the ball, and they go to that the mall. Once. And there's no surprise there. Owens Next time just it's digs in for a second go to try and get Wales moving 20. forward and they are moving forward it's slower than the last couple away, Owens broke away. breaks away and then drives the legs and has he got there I think he has well he was just never beaten Ken Owens that mall was not as good as we've seen from Wales in the opening half hour and it looked like Italy have dealt with it but Ken Owens just drove the legs again game of inches isn't it Set. They've had these opportunities, well, their execution by and large has been right out of the top drawer. Let's see what happens here. Slower advantage. ball for Gareth Davis that he was expecting, but it's advantage again to Wales, so it's a free play. And George Back North has the ball in hand, and he has the pace. Oh, does he have the pace? North gets the try at the start of the second half, advantage and Italy are absolutely broken. But brilliant from Jonathan Davis. Such a class Three. outfit, whether he's playing 13 or 12. Today we see him in the inside centre shirt. It's his midfield partner that's the beneficiary. There for 
Floyd Williams and Palaholo in midfield and around comes Sheedy and then Williams and then back into Reese Samad and that is beautifully done. Wonderful try. Josh Adams gets his second of the afternoon. Just checking Tom, on we've got a grounding, we're just making sure. And there, Barnsley, the white boot, so he's um, he's actually touch in goal. Okay. No try, his knee's out. No try. 22. The ball's up, Alan Wynn, he doesn't get the ball down until his knee is on the floor. You're kidding me, says the face of Josh oh, Adams. Please. Yeah. Boyd Williams, and now Jake Ball on the Davis 50th international cap, but just couldn't get going there. Navidi, strong carry from Josh Navidi, and now it's out to Halo Hall, and it's really hard to drag him down. Tafurik had a little go. Lloyd Williams, Navidi, great hands. In they go again. Sheedy scores. And Wales have another try. And this one is going to count. Brilliant again from Navidi. His ability to get I'm the ball on away that. under pressure. I still think they made a tackle. Creates sorry. so I'm many opportunities for away. this Welsh team. Look at this. Easy for him to take it into contact into a much smaller defender. In Stephen Varney, sees the opportunity, quick two on one. Can it? And it's handed off, and if you hand it off like that, you're going to get punished. And away goes the young man. It's Rhys Zamet, and he goes from first to fifth gear and blows the defence away. Was there any doubt he was going to get there? Absolutely none. Scrum half is going to leave it. Falatau is going to play scrum half, or will he carry? A little bit of a slow decision. Eventually, the yes. number eight takes it. Ken Owens on his shoulder. Okay, Left this time, surely. No. It'll be Wynne Jones who picks and goes, and France being tested okay, around the fringes of the breakdown. Tipperick Use will it dig it out, wrestle it out. Round the corner he goes, bounces off the first tackle, just doesn't have the ability to get there. Still there, though, for Wales. On they go. Oh. This time they're over. Have they grounded it? They have. The try is given. Wales are in, it's Bigger who crashes over. Garrett Davis, it'll pop off again. There's a wall of blue there led by Kaita to make the tackle. Falatau drives the legs. Talupe Falatau thought about reaching out, just couldn't get there. Navidi round the corner. France hanging on. Have they hung on? No, they haven't. It's another try. It's 20 minutes that have almost flown by in this game. It's a fourth try. It's Josh Navidi. And what a game. To get around the beard is isolated for a moment. Tipperick with a little dink in behind. Terrific from the open side. And Josh Adams is playing on. And we're playing a little bit of football here. But Wales have it. And Adams has it. And they have the try. They have the try. Wait, wait, you just say, you just say. Wow. I know, mate. Hang on. Now we're just going to see if there is clearly how that throughout. Okay. Ball is up at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Luke. It is not clearly held up throughout, <sighs> so I cannot overrule your on-field decision. Yeah. So. We've all been through the process. There's no clear evidence of the hand. We have looked for you, but, it's on, but it was on-field try, so trust me. Just sold that dummy. Well, quickly taken. And Thomas Williams has done exactly on Canada what Canada did on the men in red. We have, I think, both teams are looking to play with high tempo here. That's what you want to see from your scrum half though, isn't it? Those quick tap and goes. So good to see Thomas Williams back from injury. Had that hamstring injury, kept him out of the Six Nations. Sheedy. Jonah Holmes. Oh, that was all well taken by Tompkins and he's created the gap. And now they've got a two on one. Jonathan Davis, the offload. And in goes the grandson of one of the most famous English sports. James Botham. Lovely interlinking play, and that's exactly what people want to see from Jonathan Davis, having that confidence to have a go.
during that defensive set, you're seeing a lot of hands on knees. And this is the little tip on there for Jonathan Davis. And then another one out of the tackle there from Nick Tompkins. Canada, go back, Canada. Which way this time? That's Wayne Wright trying to power and muscle his way over. On the line, Just Canada, held up at the, the foot line, of the Canada. post. Canada, on the... There's Advantage. both of them with it. Well, it's just a few blades of Cardiff grass between Wales and the try line and Nicky Smith. Potentially they could have looked up and out. They'd really shortened the Canadian defensive line. He takes on Quatrin. Jonathan Davis puts his head down. Good tackle from the captain, Rumble. Bursting through at pace, and the angle did it as well. Oh, what a line! And that is what he has been brought in for, his physicality. Just be, just be careful now we collapse, all right? The just shape on the guy, he's an absolute monster. Nick Tompkins, good step. The old one-two, and there it is to Thomas Williams. Yeah, that's certainly a standout. It's just that desire from every single Welsh player to get their hands on the ball, to want to carry. Go, go, go! Sheedy. Did the pass go forward to Hardy? He went to hand. There goes Rogers. Rogers really anxious to get himself on the score sheet. Hardy looks one way, goes the other, misses out Holo Holo. Davis with the floated pass. And he got it down, detained Basham. A lot of the boys that had their first caps in the Autumn Nations, they couldn't have any family or friends. But for Tane Basham at this stadium today, his family and friends are going to be here to not only see him get no, his debut, no, Sue, I'm, I'm fine but with try the as well. More. So Elias there with the throw in. And the drive up and over the try line. Well, it's not been a bad start, the test rugby for this fella. He's picked up his second try. He's only been playing at this level for a handful of minutes. Moriarty, who's been everywhere today, he's had a very strong game. Jonathan Davis just cutting the angle. Good tackle. Can they hold out Wales, though? It would be a minor victory of sorts for the Canadians. The referee playing a penalty advantage, though. Turnbull just for a moment getting himself a little bit isolated. Ben Thomas on there to two on one. They don't need the extra body. It's a score for Jonah Holmes. Lewis Reese Zamet, Josh Adams, both away with the British and Irish Lions. James Botham now, will it be his turn? Advantage offside. Will Rowlands offside against Argentina. Thomas Williams has a good little look around to see what's on elsewhere. Away! Penalty advantage, Wales. The side on the width, Jonathan Davis pulls it back beautifully for Evans and Owen Lane. Little card of 1-2 off the scarlet. And the try is scored by Will and Thomas Williams there. And he just hold the ball up for the gigantic Will Rollins. But they'll have to do things very quickly and very accurately. They're numbered up on the blind side. You don't want to go there, or do you? Oh, yes, you do! Thomas Williams for Wales, and that is sensational stuff from one of the best nines. Tom Kitts, this is good. Davis. They've got a chance here, they've missed a tackle, Lane with a powerful run, and he's got there. If that is confirmed... It's that we saw from Leon Brown to fellow prop there of Thomas, just creates that momentum and just gets the Argentinian team on the back foot. One chief for another. The catch that time was good from Adam Beard. The line-out has not functioned that well for Wales thus far. The arm is out from the referee. Carey popping the ball up to Seb Davis. That was Papali coming through. Priestley with a drop of three. Chance it for Wales. Johnny Williams.
Ramos. A moment to savour. In empty stadium this time last year. And here he is now for the first time wearing red. In front of something like a full house. And he celebrates it with a score against the greatest team of all who are heading. Only 10 minutes gone. Now, can they get the shape right this time with Adam Beard? Good take by the British and Irish Lion. Here comes the drive. It's a really powerful, strong drive. Ryan Elias. And it's the entire Welsh meat counter that goes over the Fiji line. They busted their way through. I know Dan Bigger was looking at that sort of crossfield kick, but I don't think that's the yeah, option yeah. that you want okay. against Fiji. Little conflab going on between Johnny Williams and Dan Bigger. And uh, Nick Tompkins to the left hand side of the scrummage. And that's the way Kieran Hardy's. No, he's not. He's going the other way. Oh, it's all been bought by Fiji. Maybe their eyes were on that triumvirate who were in deep conversation. And Kieran Hardy, smash and grab, gets the try for Wales. They've spread themselves too thin, thinking more about the width, but it's the golden rule in rugby. You defend where the ball is. And again. Now they get in early and they get in low. And the backs join in too. Willis Halaholo's a big man. They're over the line this time. And they get it down this time. And it's that man again. Ryan Elias with the try. Coaster for the management staff of Wales. There's been highs, there's been lows, but Wales, they're staying in the fight. Equally so are Fiji. It's just the Fijian discipline when it comes close to the try line is letting them down. The point I was going to make was that Wales have struggled at the breakdown again here today. And here's Halaholo, and now Nick Tompkins, and there is space on the outside. Liam Williams going to hold and fix, and Cuthbert! Alex Cuthbert on his return to a Wales shirt after four years away. Uses all that horse-like strength to get into the corner. He's tiptoeing down the edge of the sideline. And this, you know, this could be his real sort of USP when you think of Josh Adams, Louis Samet, lightning quick, both quite slight guys. Alex Cuthbert just brings that little bit of stature, that bit of size. He can weather those contacts. Numbers Lewis. stacking up on the left hand side Lewis for Wales. Let him run. Let him run. Dylan Lewis and finds some space for his fellow prop forward, Gareth Lewis. Thomas. Williams again. Now Nick Tompkins. Here is Reece Samet. Reece Samet that chip into the in goal area as he got the pace to get there before the Fiji again. Oh, that is lightning. It is race lightning. So no forward pass to be considered there. This kick this through, just so ambitious. Ground, just getting some grounding pictures, mate, while Thank you're you seeing mate. the kick. That looks good to me. Matawalu tackles him. Sheedy. Tompkins. Tompkins is through. Liam Williams to his right. And the player of the match finishes with a try for Wales. It's a golden climax at the Prince of Panamay Stadium. I feel like they had a bit of a point to prove there. But Nick Tompkins, he has really stood up for me today. He was supposed to be on the bench, came in for Josh Adams at short notice, and he has certainly put up his hand for a potential start next week. Let's get the boys back behind me, yeah? It's a bit reminiscent of his first cap here in the Prince of Panamay Stadium against Italy. He came through and cut through the middle like that. Taken by Carter, who's on for Adam Beard. Thomas Williams! And there's the try! And it's Ryan Elias again! Lovely little cheeky run round there from Thomas Williams, releasing Ryan Elias. And it is just so good to see him back enjoying his rugby. You flash back to 2020, the Autumn Nations Cup. Ryan Elias really came under the cough. In the last 11 months, players playing almost as individuals. Hunter Paisami, 
He had a couple of good breaks against the English, though. And there's a knock on there. They went backwards. Went backwards just by Adamson. So a free run to the line for Nick Tompkins. See, look at him. Back, yeah. back. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. You can't stop me. Is Try it, catching me. <laughs> Good, clear communication to the referee there. Release! Outside. Taken back. Murray. Burn. And it's stolen by Basham and out of nowhere, Wales will get their first points of the championship. Basham was there to profit. Open side in for Wales' first try of the Guinness Six Nations for 2022, and boy, did Wales need that. 16th international cap, there he is. And he's going to need to get to the pace of the game immediately. Wales have possession. They have them all, the crowd are on their feet. It's advantage to Wales, and they are looking to take advantage. Over they go. Francis with the try. Happiness is in the Principality. What a moment for Wales. Getting that line out more. As you referred to, the line out hadn't been functioning in round one, but it's certainly doing the work this time. It wasn't the prettiest of malls, <laughs> but it was effective. Is a mall ever pretty? <laughs> Here's Rollins. On to Owen Watkins. Williams, low pass. Oh, that's quite superb. And Josh Adams. Well, it's been a while, almost a year since he scored his last Test match try, but how timely might that be? But look at this for a beautiful pass there from Thomas Williams. Plenty of zip on it, cut out three defenders. I mean, that is pinpoint accuracy. Well, they've had their opportunities. The sixth time that Wales have had possession inside the England 22. Moriarty that time. Williams. The tackle from Genge. Falato says, give it to me. He goes himself. Met by the England defence. There's Leon Brown. Well, the post in touching distance for Wales. A chance to pause, regroup, take a deep breath. It also gives a chance for the defence to reorganise itself. Elias that time. What a view that is out there for Williams. Tompkins! The match has been transformed. And I'm really loving the awareness from the Welsh outside backs, demanding for that ball out wide. They got caught in the first half with one too many carries. Well, it's a penalty advantage being played here to Wales. And have conceded a few penalties in that uh, so-called red zone, if you like. Kieran Hardy's off and running, he senses a chance. And the scrum half gets over, he has the try. Wales will return over the Seven Bridge with something. Big moment there for Kieran Hardy. And they badly needed this. Just caught an England defender turning his back there, switching off for a split second. Look as they're retreating. Really good awareness there. Well, Mike Anderson Adamson says we have time for the restart. So there is. Just a chink of light. But can they build on this pressure? Can they finish off this pressure, Wales? Adams goes again. Dan Bigger. Should that ball have gone wide there to Owen Watkin? Very central position on the field here. It's Adam Beard to Johnny McNichol. 
dancing around that Italian defence. Toby Falatar, here it is now, it must be! And it is, and it's Owen Watkins who scores! A turbo boost of try from Wales! And my goodness, did they need that! Using his agility, really lovely, just out the back door play there. Towns have defended very well at times, they've been fractured at times as well. Taken oh. by Moriarty, here comes that drive. Getting plenty of assistance from the crowd. And here they go. Have they got the critical mass to get all the way? And through this Italian defensive rear guard. And over that line, the answer is yes! And it's Dowie Lake, and will that be the bubble bursting try? How will the Italians respond now? That is the question. Opportunity to see it here again. Initially, the Italians set up well to defend this wall. They get a little bit of a rile on it. You just see Gareth Davis in the back there. That's really important. You see how he's just holding in behind Derry Lake. He's giving him the communication. He's telling him to stay in. He's basically his eyes looking up, scanning the defence. Carry count on this Six Nations for Will Rollins. Oh, Watkin for Moriarty. Beautiful off for Wynne Jones. The man they call Sausage, he's on the rampage. Here's Hardy, is this the chance? Great tackle. But Wales still have it through Leon Brown. His pet and Ellie brought him down. Here is Adam Beard, now Moriarty throws the ball to Josh Adams. Adams, can he get around the outside? He can! Oh, Josh Adams! And the Principality Stadium goes off like a light bulb and it's one of those big danger men george adams so this is the earlier phase of play where we had some strong carries win jones what about that from him fending off players but key here was the recycling it was a floated pass to josh adams which you thought he was just going to get player and ball they're going to push him out on the sideline but he reacted lightning quick here step on the inside now this is going to be frustrating for the Italian management. That Italian line should have come up and closed it off. You always come up on the inside okay. to make sure come you off. cut off any part. Josh Navidi with the pick and go, and it's getting closer Advantage. to the posts. Offside green seven. As well, there's an offside call against Peter Steff to Toy as they work their way centimetre by centimetre towards the Springbok line. Thomas Williams, Enskim, goes wide over the top for Adams! It's a brilliant score! In the corner for Wales, they trail by one with a kick to come. Brilliantly worked, wonderful patience with ball in hand. There's Liam Williams once again becoming a victim of the surface. Lewis rees -Sammet. Well picked up there by Tompkins, chance for Adams now. Adams up against Willemse. Willemse takes him, and there is Rafael. And Tommy Rafael has his first try in Test Rugby. And how timely might that be for Wales? Wonderful try for Wales through the phases. You know, I think we've seen George Norge touch the ball two or three times in space. Recycling well, speed of ball, keeping the ball alive. God, it's more in that passage of the play than we've seen in the opening first two tests, so. This is extremely frustrating as a Springbok supporter. They get in now 22 the once, the and they score a try. I must say, uh, from the beginning, it was quite interesting why way. Wales would kick short from the kickoff. Yeah, Both yeah. times they went short. This one is a bit deeper. The bomb diffuser, Liam Williams Thank at the you, back, mate. catching it, and then slowly but surely building, uh, breaking down our, our, our defence. And, uh, well, just a great try. One word of caution. Now they raise their voice. Can Wales raise their game? Tipperick, the captain, into the sky. Possession secure. Rissale! And they dire eyes in. It's dire. What a day for the boy on debut. Wonderful try. Rio Dyer saw the gap and straight through he went. Really welcome.
constructed, really well finished. Misdirection, options of runners. You had two backs running around the side there. It could have gone to Rio Dyer, it could have gone to Gareth Anscombe. It just creates that element of doubt. And this man only needs half a second of a gap. And it was Nick Tompkins. And then Alan Wynne Jones, Wales building up a little momentum here. Advantage still being played. Where to from here? It still breaks, it might break, it does break. Tipperick is in, Wales have to try. The TMO will have to decide, but the referees awarded it. Captain's roll, little kick Just over the top. Lovely awareness there by Thomas Williams, just spotting a little bit of a gap in the backfield. Brings Priestland onto the ball, but it's the chase up, and of course it's going to be Justin Tipperick. Just sense this has to stick. Stage one complete, brought down from Tipperick. They may well just choose the small meterage from here. Wales get the try. Now Lupe Falatao rises with the ball. It brings up 50 test tries scored against Argentina by Wales. No finer man to have scored it. Falatao gets Wales on the board. Well, like you said, it was a brave call. And it's only the right one if they make it play. And you do feel like there was a sheer determination in that one. Absolutely no chance of the backs getting that ball. That was all about the forwards. They had a point to prove. Really nice, tight connection there on that driving line out. Didn't even bother working the ball all the way to the back. They knew they had the power to drive Tries over. All clear, ben. Little chip forwards. It's just going to find Thomas Williams. Red, white. We'll just. Yep. Hung his boot out towards the touchline to be able to get that down the corner and then the charge down. And Thomas Williams is going to be the one. Over the line for Wells, his second try. But it was all of his making. The chip ahead down the touchline, the charge down and the score. Brilliant bit of reactional rugby there from Thomas Williams. But there's been way too many times for me now that Argentina, they've just been caught second-guessing with their kicking game. They're not quite sure what they want to do here, taking way too much time on that. That was a lazy kick. Thomas Williams, he's one of the fastest nines out there. The grounding, he's they should clear. know that. Now you've got to run onto that ball there. That's a tough lesson from Alia, the Argentinian fullback to take. Well, while we're talking about Louis Rees Zamet, Filling in at 15. Juan Cruz Malia does play more at 14 with Toulouse. Ken Owens. Adam Beard, the lion. Neat little move. More than just a neat little move. It works sublimely well. And Jack Morgan goes over for Wales' first try. Such a neat and tidy execution from the lineup. Well, what an impact for Jack Morgan to have. Lots of rugby fans in Wales have been wondering when he's going to get his opportunity. I mean, he's more known for his work rate on the ground, his turnovers. But he's now going to get a reputation for a fantastic little dummy there. Really cute. Great awareness. That's a pre-planned move. You know, the letter of the law for that move, he's supposed to give that ball, but I love it when you can see players a little bit more about themselves. Wales, Watkin just about clings on to that ball there. Thomas Williams to McLeod, Priestland. Finding good field position here. Thomas Williams, Priestland once more. George North, big, powerful, strong man. So is Alex Cuthbert, working well in tandem. The outside centre and the winger. He's in again, is he? He is! Jack Morgan gets a second try. What a fabulous beginning to this way, this game from the flanker. And Wales, after being so subdued for so long, have two tries in double quick time from the same man.
Well, Wales have certainly found their fifth gear now. But it's because the Georgians weren't competing at the ruck that was giving the opportunity for the flanker to stay out. He didn't have to get in there and try and protect that ball. A great awareness there by Thomas Williams. Release that super sharp, super quick. Lovely little bit of interlinking play by the wingers. George North in at 13, doing a fantastic job. Can they fashion this into something more? Thomas Williams looks for the dart. Alan Wynn Jones goes straight. Get support, and Wales are there, and it's that man again. He's still got a lot to give to that Welsh jersey. Lovely bit of reaction play there. He could have been selfish. Hawkins, he's at a really solid start, fizzing that pass across to Welsh shirts. Gareth Anscombe, is there a chance on the outside here? There is. Falato! Well, that one was out of the more colourful pages of the Welsh playbook. He's in. The one away that, a try against 13 men. Big drive, penalty again. Can the forwards go all the way? Trucking! Combusting the Australian defence with some seismic rugby from that big pack. Relentless try score for Wales. And that red shirt, Ken Owens, full of energy. 35 years of age, Gareth Thomas. What a position now for Wales and Real Dyer. And it was pinpoint accuracy. Real good confidence booster Franscombe as well. Look at that missed pass.